hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to learn how to make this cold neck boo boo it has a belt that is the front is fitted while the back neckline has a cold neckline so for this dress you are going to be needing at least five yards of fabric for the back i used two yards of a light crepe i used a light crepe for the back then i used a chiffon fabric for the front a thick chiffon fabric so at the front i have let's say 1.5 yard then for the back i have two yards so if you are buying just buy five yards or four yards 4.5 so that it will be enough for you so first of all we are going to be cutting out the front part and the front part will be a normal boo boo for you to understand this tutorial you should have a basic knowledge on how to make a booboo dress so this front part to be a normal booboo then we use it to cut out the back the first thing that we do is to fold my fabric and you know that booboo gowns are always a cut together gown that means the shoulder the sleeve everything will be cut together so i'll fold this fabric into two then uh, you make sure that i have the normal length that i need it should be from 58 inches upwards then i'll cut off this rough edge before taking my neckline and shoulder measurement so after cutting off the neckline first of all i will mark my three by three neckline just three by three the width should be three inches then the neck there should be three inches also and after marking that i will mark my normal round neck after making the normal round neck you are going to measure your shoulder you take your shoulder measurement first of all i'm done with my round neckline so i'll go ahead and take my shoulder measurement then from that shoulder measurement you are going to go down by how many inches you want your sleeve to be you are free to determine how long you want the sleeve of this boot boot to be so for me i used 12 inches plus one inch seam allowance that is 13 inches and i marked then from there i will come down by 12 or 11 inches for the armhole this is where our sleeve or our hand will come out from then after doing that i am going to mark a straight line down so that i'll know where my sleeve stopped at after doing this i will cut off the neckline first of all i will cut off the neckline so that we can understand what i am doing so right now i'll cut off the neckline then i will take my full measurement Oh, I am done cutting off the neckline. I will push the fabric a bit so that you guys can see the full length. So here is the full length that I used. I used 62 here, but I later reduced it because I noticed that the 62 is too long for me. Then after doing this, from that area where you marked your sleeve length, you are going to cut straight down to the full length. And that will be the width of this booboo from your sleeve length you will cut straight down if you want you can shape the body a bit then notch your sleeve area not sure you want where you want your sleeve to stop at so this is for the front i'll keep that aside over to the back this is the fabric that i'll be using for the back i said that it is a light crepe and it is two yards so i'm going to fold it into two if you are making this for a bigger person let's say from size 12 upwards you should use more than two yards for the back then i will place the front panel on this and you are going to see how i will place it so after placing this front panel on the back you are going to tilt it a bit like you are going to shift it a bit you can see the way i placed mine so at the down part two of them should be equal at the down part and the full length should align as well the full length should align at the side then you will place it in a triangular manner you can see how i placed mine so if you cut it out this way it will give you that cold neck the more you shift it inside the deeper your cold neck will be but if you don't want your cold neck to be deep you can just shift it towards the center back a bit so after doing that i will indicate where my neckline will start from i will notch the neckline then i will cut out the side also notch your sleeve area 
also not your sleeve area then cut straight down you can see how i placed my front on my back make sure that they are equal at the full length but around the neckline the back will be wider than the front so that when you pick it up the cold neck will fall so that is it for the back you're not going to cut out any neckline for this back just notch where the front and back neckline will meet at so this is what we have at the end of the day if i open it up you can see what i have here so do not forget to notch your neckline area so if i pick that neckline area you can see the gown is already giving me a cold shape and my own cold is deep but if you don't want it to be deep that means you will not shift it that much so look this is what we have for the back if you want you can use a bias to turn it if you want you can just leave it that way because it will still fall inside like the rough edge will still fall inside so this is for the front i will use a bias to turn the neckline after turning the neckline i'm done turning with my bias after turning with my neckline i am going to place my back on this making this dress is very very easy it is very easy so i'm going to place my back on it and make sure that they align at the neckline remember that we notched our back neckline so place the two of them together and then you pin down this place that i'm holding is where i notched the neckline so i'll pin the two of them together along the neckline then i'll go ahead and pin the sleeve so if i go to my sewing machine i'll just run a stitch around there from the neckline down to the full length of the sleeve so i am done pinning i'll go ahead and close this shoulder area and you can see our cool shape it is taking shape already so after doing that we are going to hem our sleeve area i am done closing the shoulder we are going to hem the sleeve area you can see where i notched you just hem down to that place you notched for your sleeve and after hemming that you are going to shape the side this is the back of the dress this is the wrong side of the dress so you are going to start from where you notched your sleeve length or the wideness of your sleeve from there you are going to run a straight stitch down to the full length and you will hem the down part also so this is the gown it is ready it is ready so the next thing that we are going to do now is to add a little fabric around the neckline this is a cold neckline so if you wear this cold neckline it may fall off because this is a booboo dress and the cold is at the back also so what you are going to do is that you are going to measure the width of your neckline then you cut out a piece let's say a two inches piece that you fix at the neck line that is at the back so that the cold neckline will not be falling off your shoulder so this is what i have i will measure what i have i have eight inches there but i made it nine inches after that i will turn the fabric then i will go ahead and fix it at the back neckline so that the cold will not be falling off from my shoulder if i wear it so just attach it to the both sides of the neckline and that will be at the back area so i am done doing that now and this is what we have so this piece is really really important so that you can feel comfortable when wearing this and make sure that it can cross your head so that it will be very easy for you to wear now we are done the next thing that we do is to turn the back of this fabric that is the wrong side of the fabric i am going to add a belt on the inside i'm going to add a belt here so i'll get my half length this is my half length line and this is where i will be attaching that belt and the belt will be 8 inches or 10 inches or 11 inches apart from each other they will be 8 inches away from each other so this is the piece that i'll be using for the belt i will attach one on the right side and one at the left side so this is the belt i have turned it i'll just go ahead and pin it down to the fabric and i will sew i remember this belt will be on the inside you will attach it to the wrong side of the front panel so that when you tie it to the back it will hold your front your front will be fitted so guys at the end of the day this is what we have i hope our dress is beautiful please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up also click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified 
our registration for our online courses is ongoing we have the corset blazer trouser and jumpsuit so if you want to register send me a dm at so with ijoma on instagram so with ijoma on instagram registration for our physical classes is ongoing as well so thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video bye